Um, I didn't know better, to be honest. I didn't know the difference because where I grew up, um, I was always around Filipinos. Mm -hmm. So because mil because of the military, so I always grew up around Filipino families, and so. Um, the only, I guess the, the main thing was, uh, was language, but that wasn't even an issue because my parents, my when I was younger, my parents, um, said that I spoke Tagalog at Ilocano. And then when I was school age, they stopped speaking that because they wanted me to speak perfect English, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of ironic that I became an English teacher, but you know, and they wonder why. Um, and I was also, I mean, I, I've known nothing else. I've always known that as the oldest, I had to be responsible for my siblings. You know, I was the role model. I was the one that got in trouble all the time. Um, and I had to, uh, you know, I see what my sisters were able to get away with later. I was like, well, not fair. But I, that's all part, that's all part of it. Um, but as far as, I guess, challenges, not, not nothing, nothing that I, I see as terribly unusual. Because, you know, I've talked to other people and they all go, we all go through the same things growing up. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've always been privileged to be around a Filipino community wherever I was, so I never felt like an outsider or that I didn't belong because there was always um, there was always other uh, folks around.